What is going on guys? My name is Nikias, also known as The Lemon Boy, and this is my 2020 M1 MacBook Air review. So there's gonna be a bunch of reviews on YouTube about the M1 MacBook Air that are only gonna be doing speed comparisons and taking this computer to the next level to see if they can slow it down. And that's not what we're gonna do here. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing it as a student. I'm gonna be showing you from a student's perspective if you should buy the MacBook Air or not and the amazing things and the amazing benefits of the M1 MacBook Air are for students. We've never had such a clear and obvious laptop for students. And that's because of the M1 chip. Now, I don't want to get you bored with performance and chip stuff and M1 24K3 HDR. The M1 MacBook Air is outperforming the most expensive Macs from last year. And we're just talking about the budget MacBook Air model which is just freaking insanity well you can have thousands of apps open tabs on safari and your mac will not suffer at all and thanks to the m1 the battery is also unbelievable us as students we need amazing battery life we don't need good battery life we need amazing battery life because we're always in front of our laptops so the M1 does that. The battery life is lasting me eight to 10 hours with extensive usage. So if you want a reliable laptop for college or high school with a battery life that you will just not have to worry about it, this is your MacBook. So on the outside, the new MacBook Air looks exactly the same as previous generations. It's beautiful. It feels premium. And when you hold it on your hands, you just feel like your money is worth. You just feel like you just did a very good investment. The display now has a P3 color gamut, which just looks absolutely beautiful. So this is great for students. We've got a phenomenal scissor mechanism keyboard, which is just a delightful to write essays on and presentations. You get two speakers on the MacBook Air which sound amazing for your online classes or maybe after your online class you want to jam out to some music. They sound great. All right, so the craziest thing about the MacBook Air apart from the crazy battery life and about the insane, literally insane performance with the M1 chip is the fan. So there is no fan. This is a silent MacBook Air. The best thing of course is that it doesn't overheat because Apple can remove you know, Apple can remove the fan, but if it overheats, there's a problem, but it does not overheat. Even if you take this computer to the next level with your crazy assignments, because us as students, we write heck of a lot of assignments. It will not suffer. Even if you video edit like crazy, it will not overheat. Maybe if you start rendering a freaking Disney movie, Maybe it will overheat just a little bit, but for students, of course, it will not overheat at all. I just love the MacBook Air. I've always loved the MacBook Air. Portability-wise, you can just take it anywhere. It easily fits with any backpack or purse. You can just go back-to-back -back classes without a problem, and with that extensive battery life, it will last you through the whole day. So who do I recommend the MacBook Air for? Um, this is kind of a tough question because my answer would be for everybody. I mean, performance wise, I can literally, this can be my main machine. This, I can edit videos with this like crazy and it would be perfectly fine. So if it's a perfectly fine laptop for a video editor, for example, imagine for students. I mean, this is the ideal laptop for students. It's a MacBook that is just a reliable laptop. It's an efficient laptop and it's everything that you need on a MacBook. It's unbelievably the option for students. I wouldn't recommend the MacBook Pro for students. I mean, of course, if you've got the money, go for it, but you're gonna be so incredibly powerfully fine with the MacBook Air because it's everything that a student needs. It's thin, it's powerful, it's everything. Better life is great. That's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. By the way, I am still giving away that iPhone 12 over on Instagram, so links are down below. You just have to follow me, and that's it. Links are down below. You'll have to tag your friend. Hit the link down in the description. But now for real, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.